Hello, it's TT11, and today I have two designs to show you for 2x2 two two trapdoors. And this is design number one, and this is design number two. They're very similar, but the designs of the actual wirings are a bit different. This is the first one, this is a response to Puzzle MC, I think his name is. He recently made a trapdoor and it was the same dimension as this but it came one out of this side so this is just me compacting what he'd done. I used a pretty clever trick here to get it to be all the pistons at the right timing. So I get an input from this line here and that goes through these repeaters so it's equal on both sides and into here. So first of all we're going to get a power at one tick going through there into this block which will power this when it comes out and also a one tick from that going through into this block which powers all these pistons because this powers that which powers that which allows this piston to be powered diagonally from there and also through here so this block here and that block there have the um, same delay going into them so it retract the same and I managed to fit in the thing to retract it quite easily because this here doesn't hold on the problem I having was any delay I tried to add to hold these pistons back I was also adding a delay to this circuit which basically stopped the whole thing working so by having this um, repeater on 3 up here it allows the 2 ticks for those repeaters, these pistons here to drop their blocks down and then retract them. It doesn't power the rest of that because when it powers this block it will power this piston and that diagonally powers that piston there which just broke and which on that block also goes into this redstone which powers that, this piston and the one below. And it's a pretty compact way of wiring it and it's exactly the same thing on the other side. Now the second sign I have here is a bit smaller than this one but I prefer that because it's nice, it's more compact, it's in at the sides. But this one sticks one further out of this side but it does remove a whole layer off the bottom. Now I don't really like the input I have on this at the moment because it's not even so. For OCD's sake let's just do that. There you go, much nicer. Like that, and so, and this is much easier to show you how it works like this. So, the signal comes from these wires, goes in these repeaters, powers this line here. But when it does that, it doesn't power anything because these are half slabs, so it's not interfering in these pistons. Same on the back, they're half slabs, it doesn't interfere with those pistons. And then, two ticks later, it powers th these four pistons here which then pushes the bottom pistons into uh, being diagonally powered through that block so this happens and when we retract these um, repeaters on two ticks delay provide enough delay to allow that to come out more smoothly this is a bit faster than that one because I think yeah from the input because this takes two ticks from the input to push them out, this only takes it's another thing I just said, but anyway yeah you see, and both have the, the same animation and uh, both have the same speed, and now I'm going to put into a tutorial of how to build both of them so to start off with, with the first design which is the one that's small on the sides but has one layer big at the bottom you're going to start off with your basic piston arrangement that you always use for 2x2 two two trapdoors. These are all sticky pistons, two up with four behind to push them out. Then that piston will extend with the block on top. So the input is going to be along a line like this. And then you have a repeater on each end, level with the four pistons. Wire along like that. These are going to go into a block. I'll just build it on this side and then we can mirror it on that side later. So repeat it into block. 
with a redstone below which goes into a block. We take a repeater from this block here through here. You need a repeater there and one tick and a piece of redstone and a block there to stop them connecting. And then we need uh, another one tick repeater coming from that block which powers that and then along here so creating the same delay between there and there and then also redstone block and another one there to block the signal which will make these pistons extend and then your repeater on three ticks of delay to pull them back at the end and that's going to be exactly the same with the side so repeater to block onto a piece of redstone into a block with repeaters on one tick coming out of each side of it this one is going into a redstone that needs blocking off this one going into a block which goes through that redstone into that block and then just running a line along the back to power the pistons on the side and then our uh, three ticks of delay there so you can see it goes up nicely and retracts nicely so now for the next one so it's going to have a similar input but I'll show you the um, more compact input so you're going to input on this block here with a repeater coming out of each side into blocks and just make it a bit brighter then we're going to have two half slabs on the side of these pistons which so when we power them like that it's not going to interact with these pistons which is what we want we want the same on both sides of pistons on both sides so I'll just build them and then that's going to go round like this so I'm going to fill this all in with blocks redstone around the um, outside and repeaters on two ticks shouldn't be too hard to follow and then exactly the same on the other side fill this all in with blocks redstone around the outside and repeaters on two ticks and there you go another trapdoor so I hope you enjoyed those trapdoor designs hope they help you in your world um, like comment subscribe if you enjoyed it and thank you for watching and this has been CD Lemon